the things I need of you, things you may not understand and may not wish to do, but please do not make the same mistakes I did. My father, Howard, deserted me before I was born. I could claim the loss of my mother in the letter I received after her funeral blinded me to what I had to do. It would be a lie. Human nature sealed my downfall. My name is Philip. If we are lucky, then those, then by the time you receive this, I will not, I will be dead. Blah. Okay, I missed the reading of that. Frictional Games. Penumbra Overture, episode one. Where's my bloody remote? Welcome to Penumbra Overture. To improve your experience, please follow the advice below. Turn off all lights. Well, that's already done. I just need to close these window shades. Turn contrast to max and just brightness below so the image is barely visible. Let's have a look at these settings here. Hmm. Yes, let's turn this on. Ooh, let's just be safe and leave that off for now. Um, yeah. Five. Okay, so... <laughs> Get this shit out of here. I don't need things to flash. Let's have a look at the controls here. By the way, for those watching the part of this, this is actually being live-streamed at the moment. But why you do this? If I don't have to reload, then... No, that, that just doesn't work. Do I have a flashlight? Yes. Okay, that'll stay on F. Okay, movement. Yep. Interaction. Uh, interact mode. I don't know what the hell that means. Low stick. Hmm. Okay, let's just put that there. In a ranked mode. Definitely need the old glow stick here. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. And we're back, fully. Made myself a bit of tea. For players who are bad at action games, nope. Give me a challenge. My story began in February, the year 2000. February, damn it. I would vanish from my mother's life before I was even in. So when he sent me a letter a few days after Mum's funeral, it was the first time I'd ever heard from him. But he was dead. Writing from beyond the grave must be a genetic habit in my blood line. His letter contained a key, instructions, pleas for forgiveness. I figured the dead don't have much use for absolution, so I turned to his prophetic passing, which he inexplicably expected to come any day. Clearly averse to explanations, my father preferred to leave directions to a bank on Mayfair I'd never even heard. He had a bank with a safety deposit box in his name, and myself as executor. Of course, I went as he knew I would. I discovered that despite the evidence, he'd been legally declared dead almost 30 years ago, and said the old book and collection of notes I found had, in the eyes of the law, been mine all this time. 
My father's instructions were to burn the documents, raise no further questions. But that was his error. No man's immune to the shameful trappings of curiosity, and my humanity got the better of me. The university I taught at was world-renowned for two things, physics and linguistics. I represented the first, and the man who stood for the second was stumped by my recent acquisition. The book was indecipherable. The notes, however, showed the location somewhere in uninhabited northern Greenland. It took me almost a year to book the last flight I'd ever taken. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realized my father had disappeared three decades ago, almost to the day. And I considered in turn what it was that I was leaving behind. We landed on a strip of ice a few feet wide, and within minutes I was pulling away on a chartered boat, beginning the 12 hour journey that would lead me into my past. Finally, we're almost docked. I'd better stow my gear. I may be far from home, but the chances are I can still pick up things using left mouse, and I can take a closer thing look at things using right mouse. Yay, breaking fourth wall. Okay. Well, this is fairly interesting. Okay, so I'm not going to turn on any of those things just because I don't feel like restarting the game again. Pretty goddamn stupid. But okay, I was going to turn the graphics up a bit, considering I'm getting a solid 30 right or 60 right here, with fraps recording and the signal being bounced to a uh, secondary or second monitor. seems friendly enough, but just in case, I locked up my valuables. I'm pretty sure the key's in my inventory somewhere. Once I found it, double-clicking the last mouse button should get it selected. Then I can press interact in the padlock to unlock it. The key for my old padlock. There's not much light in here. My flashlight could come in handy. Could come in handy if the torch runs out of batteries. I should be able to access this through my inventory with the blah blah blah. Oh, so it makes the batteries the better than they play it. Okay, what's with the camera right now? Get out of here, Campbell Soup. Oh no. It's the Golden Eye system. Oh man, this may have been a bad idea. This is supposed to be a Halloween type thing. And here I am playing with um, physics. Whee! Get out of here. A map. I'm certain this map's a good decade or so out of date, but landmarks don't change much in Greenland. So I've got a pretty decent idea of where I'm heading. Always good to have a notebook to jot down in interesting information and reminders. I think I left my torch in the desk. I think I left my torch in the desk drawer next to the bed. Keeping open using my left mouse on it, holding the blah 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 tutorial. Hmm, Jack Daniels. Oh, I can't pick it up. I didn't do that. Get out of your chair. Those watching on YouTube, uh, you probably noticed by now that the highest resolution this video is offered in is in 360p. That's a necessity because I don't want to have to rely on the live stream VOD. The hell was that sound? I don't want to have to rely on the live stream VOD for the uh, video because obviously the quality is kind of crap. Hmm. Dearest Eric, just a quick note before you set sail and leave me alone once again. 
I've left you a little something to remember me by in the chest at the foot of your bed. I do, really don't know why you still only have one bed on board, thinking just because of it is no way to get, a, get your rest. But what does a fisherman's wife know of life at sea? I'll be praying every night for you to make the catch you need, so that you can come home safely and soon. Please don't be gone for five weeks like last time. I know it might nag sometimes, but I do love you, you know. I've washed these overalls of yours, and I know you'll get them covered in assorted fish parts in no time, but I still feel better knowing that you've had a wash. Before I forget, the, he the Heinrichsons in the village have asked me to see if you'll be coming by any trout, but said they were mostly out of season. If you do happen upon any, don't say anything. Stir them all in the ice, and I'll do something special with them to celebrate when you come home to Smee. Smee, yeah. The ship's captain deserves a little special treatment every once in a while. Take care, my lord. Okay, I can close this now. Don't know what the hell kind of accent that was, but whatever. Get out of the way! I have a desk to open. Grab a torch. off the boat, setting out into the blizzard that had formed around me, I realized how utterly devoted I'd been to the discovery of my father's past. I had no idea what to expect. Soon enough, my concerns were justified. I don't know whether I lost my orientation or my spirit first, but I lost feeling in my extremities soon after, and, and new hypothermia was setting in. I started looking for shelter. shelter soon. I am professional voice actor. I do professional voicing. My entire head went numb a long time ago, but I could still hear the wind roaring past. Or was that some kind of animal? Didn't get to read all of that. Thank you, game. Let's run. Keeps you warm. What in the hell is that? I don't care. I need shelter. Looks frozen shut. Need something to break in. sprinting. The live stream can't really see a thing here. Sorry, but that's how everything is. Interact mode. Oh, that was bloody simple. I hope to God it's not frozen inside as well. So weak. If I just use interact mode, I should blah blah blah. Tutorial. Or not really tutorial, but breaking fourth wall. today.
that wasn't a pleasant sound. I can't hear a thing. Oh, there we go. Jesus, my head. I can't believe I fell that far and survived. Although, looking around, maybe I didn't. What is this place? It's too far away. blood, but I should be okay. Okay. Come on, tell me something about this. Or don't. chronically scared of the dark like uh, Daniel from Amnesia is. Hmm, what's this? Nothing. I feel I can't actually do anything when the look icon comes up. There. Nothing. How about a nice warm cup of shut the fuck up? No. See, I can swing this hammer if I blah blah blah. Hmm. Must be something in the way. Hmm. Okay then. Well, throwing a box at it didn't help. Puzzle time. but I need checkpoint based game. Well that didn't do anything. Maybe I can do something without the hammer. Nope. Whoops. Okay. up 
bear. Get up there. Okay, so I guess I had to roll the barrel around to get up in a uh, very small incline. to game. Guessing the uh, low stick is uh, or lasts forever. What the hell? This is a maze and a half. Okay, back here. here. way to go. But the only thing I can think of is maybe I'm supposed to find a way to go down here. I should seriously saw it and it won't open by hand. Someone obviously wanted to keep people out or in. Yeah, it took me long enough to figure out you gotta you're supposed to press the damn uh, right button. No wonder I couldn't open the door. This is a terrible industrial mechanism. This looks like some sort of 
industrial mechanism. There's a hole in the center and no way to operate it. Okay. So I need something that would go in there. Like, I guess your health regenerates then? Ooh, metal rod. Oh! Whatever, whatever I was descending into, it was a hundred feet below ground, protected by two solid metal hatches, located in a remote arctic wilderness, and buried beneath the snow. I didn't know what to expect, but it made me feel something I hadn't felt since I was a child. I'd never given it much thought before, but I realized that our entire society is a network of safety nets, emergency services at the end of the phone line. Health and safety in the workplace. Friends, family, lovers. All there if something goes wrong. Part of a carefully designed structure to prevent all but the most mundane of emotions. Once again, I felt like I did when I was in school. Surrounded by a closing ring of older kids. Knowing anyone that might help me. Friends, parents, teachers. Were too scared. Or too far away. Got it down a note just in case. Entrance to the cave is caved in. Must be another way up. There could be anything living down here. Heroics are for Hollywood actors and fairy tales. I'm not taking any chances. If I face off against anything down here, I won't last a second. Caution and stealth are my only defenses now. Okay. If anyone or anything hears me, I'd be best off staying low and out of sight until I know whether or not it's a threat. Crouching by pressing left shift will give me the chance to hide in the shadows. I'll know I've got it right because of the blue tint to my vision. Plus, I should be quiet enough to know that I won't be heard unless something's right on top of me. Better remember to shut off any light sources, though. I wonder if there really is a mental health mechanic in this game. Okay, I guess not. It's just explained it to me there and I didn't actually uh, read it out loud for whatever reason. Nope, nothing here. I'm gonna hide for a bit, check something. Okay, got a little bit taken care of. storage room. Hmm. A wooden box. This place must be old if they were still using paraffin lamps. Looks like there's still some juice left. Ooh. Oh, I can't pick it. I can't pick it up. Nah. Not as heavy as it looks. Still, it should serve as some form of weapon if I have to defend myself. Throw a metal barrel. Awesome. Okay, let's do a little bit of sneaking. That goes to another area. Let's see if there's anything else here. So I need to find a way out of these caves. I ought to have this out. So I have down a note. 
note. Okay, no, it's here. Locked door in the middle of the mine. Okay. Office probably has something for that. Shop. Storage room that way. Office. Go to a new area. This is a fairly close place. Locked. Anything? Nope. Ooh, what's this? Painkillers. Jerky. What was that? This typewriter dates back even further than the war. Made in Germany, 1923. Pretty sure I picked up a set of spare batteries in the uh, first level. Don't know where those went. So much history in this place, tied up in words and left to de decompose. Shame, really. It's a fairly basic work desk. This place must have been converted into a functional office at some stage in its history. What's this? Whoa! A man. An old man. Clutching something unseen. He is strange, and yet he is no stranger. Never seen before, still I know. This man before me is Howard. I call him Father. Ooh. Ugh. What the hell happened? I don't know if that was such a good idea. Hey, a book. Whoa, loads of reading. 15th August, 1945. Command Bunker, Emergency Airstrip Zulu. Weekly report. Another unremarkable week in Greenland. Regular supply shipment received. Standard emergency drills carried out. Routine runway maintenance completed. I have ordered maintenance to be carried out twice as or twice weekly from here on in, due to increased snowfall. One wounded. The one wounded figure is no cause for concern back in London. The Germans haven't extended their front line to four thousand miles. Got manufacturing cherry bombs in a workshop armory and succeeded in blowing off a couple fingers. I take partial responsibility for this in that I allowed them to access the demolition manual we keep in the storeroom, and I'm sure that's where they learned the ingredients. As a precautionary measure, I have now locked up that manual in the chest in my office and will keep the key on my person at all times. Needless to say, both men have been disciplined, and the injured man has been sent home for medical care. I cannot help but think that a more suitable punishment would have been for him to stay out here, but the matter is out of my hands. Yeah. This base is so disconnected sometimes. I feel as if this war could end, and we might not even hear about it out here. Supplies requisition order. Dynamite for excavation purposes. Seven bayonets. Not necessary in my opinion, but procedure states that we should have a full complement. 
one industrial ice pick for moving the dam ice that forms on the external hatch, one pair of reading glasses, category 7C. In order for myself, my glasses are in rather poor state of repair, and I can do with replacing. Reconditioning of the mine continues to progress. The structure is being fortified from potential bomb damage. An excavation of previously caved in areas is going ahead. One point of curiosity is some kind of archaeological find, an artifact buried in the earth, and discovered by one of the work teams. Later this evening, after martial duty, I shall take a closer look at the artifact. It appears to be man-made, and may have working parts inside. I shall remove what looks like the front cover, and see if I can't discover it from... discover the source of the light which constantly emanates from it. this again. I may never get used to that. Ooh, Baxterin, whatever the hell that is. A bottle of Baxterin. Might come in handy, even though I don't know what it is. It's a picture of a British platoon. It must date back to World War II. I suppose this mine was converted into some kind of a bunker. Let's give myself a little bit of light. Ooh. Batteries. Where are the batteries then? Where are they? Where are those stored? Out of my way. Ooh. Didn't notice this before. And there appears to be nothing in it. Oh well. Ooh, another note. What is this? Copenhagen Post, Monday, 17th August, 1930. Psychotropic deposits at the bottom of Death Mine? Researchers at the University of Copenhagen have suggested that mind-altering chemicals naturally sown into the rock may be the cause of high suicide rates in at a Greenland mine. The university, which has recently been, conduct been conducting studies into isolated communities, first became interested in the workers of Northwestern Lead Mine last year. They discovered that, even taking into account Greenland's naturally higher suicide rate, local figures for the last 100 years were abnormally high, at 46 deaths per 100,000 populace, compared to the national average of 29. Uh, on further investigation, experts diagnosed, in many of the miners, symptoms in common with the earlier stages of paranoid schizophrenia. This has pr prompted researchers to hypothesize the natural deposits of lysergic acid, a pH-4 formula, recently discovered to have hallucinogenic properties, may be present in the rocks. Few locals were, conductive to, were conducive to interview, but those who agreed to speak had their own explanation. Inuit spirits, known as the Tungait, live in the mountains. The university is awaiting the results of chemical testing. Studies continue. And there's that key. Uh, you bastard. Close. Uh, chair. Uh, nothing in there anyways. Bottom drawer. Bottom drawer. Nope. Uh, that's right. I got a double click. Big Book of Explosives. Let's have a look. Five pages. 1923 edition. Chapter 1.3 Black Match Fuse. This, The Black Match Fuse is one of the oldest, simplest, and most reliable fuses used in modern pyrotechnics. It is easy to create, essentially consisting of just string and gunpowder, but be warned. The chemicals concerned will stain clothing, and as always, due concern is advised. 
When working with gunpowder, I think staining your clothes is the least of your worries. Materials required. String, preferably cotton. Black gunpowder. Baxterin. Ooh. Already got one of them. The string should be coated in, with a thin layer of Baxterin, which acts as an adhesive. The string is then carefully rolled in the gunpowder and left to dry at least a couple of minutes before use. Chapter 2.1 Dynamite Invented by Alfred Nobel in 1866. Ironic. Nobel Prize man creating dynamite. Dynamite is commonly used in construction, mining, demolition, and blowing powder gangers to pieces. It is proved for far safer to handle than alternatives such as pure nitroglycerin, provided that is, it has been properly stored. Over time, the explosive component of dynamite, supposedly made safe by the presence of the diatomaceous earth, has a tendency to weep, making an old box of the explosive liable to detonate on contact. Materials required. One part diat diatomaceous earth, three parts nitroglycerin, small amount of sodium carbonate, text unreadable, and then simply form into short sticks and wrap in paper. Chapter 2.3, Trinitrotuline. A true. Yeah, Trinitrotoluene. TNT. Let's just call it that. TNT was first discovered in 1863 by German chemist Joseph Wilbrandt, but it took some years before it yielded its true potential. This was because of the difficulty of making it explode and lesser detonation in comparison to dynamite. The main advantage was discovered by the German Navy, who employed TNTs relative to explosive stability in order to cause massive damage to British warships. Their torpedoes could be detonated inside a ship's armor, rather than exploding on contact, as did other shells. Chapter 2.6, Armstrong's Mixture. Armstrong's Mixture is included in this book as more of a point of interest than as a viable chemical mix. The formula exists formula, yeah, exists as somewhat of a legend in modern pyrotechnics, referenced by those knowledgeable enough to stay away from it as death mix. Its incredible vol volatility make it unsuit. Its incredible volatility makes it I'll fix your grammar for you game. Unsuitable for almost all potential applications. Materials required. Res red phosphorus in barium. This mixture can be carefully and slowly mixed to minimize risk to the chemist. Sulfur can substitute for some, or all, of the barium to slightly decrease sensitivity. Well, that's all interesting and stuff. Did I check these drawers already? Oh, close. Apparently so. Here? Out of my way. You too. There's something else down here. I just wait here for whatever's around that corner. Gotta hide. Jesus, I've never been this scared in my life. I can heal, hear my heart racing. If anything gets within more than a few feet of my hiding spot, I better not stare it out. Anything within my field of vision might panic me, and then I'm a goner. With two ends. And again, I don't think goner is really a real word anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yes, I realize there's a large wooden box. I'm not looking at it. Ah, uh, heavy. Okay. Everybody could lift it. Could it do a lot of damage to anything underneath it? Here. 
Oh. Jesus. Ah! Well, shit. in box. There, that's calming. <sighs> Christ, it's only 6.07. I've got <laughs> two and a half hours ahead of me. Uh. At least before the first plan to break. Okay, I need to be able to get past this part, but I don't really know how without learning that thing. Looks like there's nothing over there. What is that? Okay, it's just part of the rock. Shit, this is that locked door, isn't it? I don't have a key. Claw marks? Oh, man, why can't I save? Is there a save button? No. No. No.
anything here. I can't see anything. Doesn't mean much. What the hell's that? Not as heavy as it looks, but it's just, okay, that's a weapon. Oh, that's one of those barrels. Come on, give me my super cheap vision. Lots of useless junk. Best it could be a good hiding spot. It could, it could. Oh shit. Come on, I would storage room, anything in here. Yeah, that's right, I gotta put that away. <sighs> looks closed enough. This lighter wasn't empty, it'd be a handy thing to have. Lighter plus fuel equals fire and a smile. Yay! Bugs equals sad? Oh shit. There are bugs to deal with. Hey, boot. Boot to that. Reams of white ring. Hmm, I could surely use some of these. But I cannot pick them up. Tin of crap, don't need. This shows some kind of trap door, but I can't see where it would be. What of this? Nothing. The work of either a child or a deranged mind. It's a crude representation of a scorched, writhing spider. Oh, I think I see. Box of rocks. Locked. What of this? Locked from the other side. That does that mean there's someone still inside? I can hear chattering. Thank God, maybe I can get some answers. Couldn't read the rest. There's a locked door with odd noises coming from behind it on the other side. Get out of my way. Okay, yeah, I, I should shut that. Don't know what's on the other side. Nothing. Painkillers. Fully charged batteries. 34%. Empty lighter. It's a zipper lighter, but empty. It was different, but the same that time. Like I had more control. But over what? I don't know, I couldn't see it. An old artifact. Anything here? Bunch of bottles I can't interact with. I'll never get used to that.
strange great for transporting ore, I suppose. There's a draft coming from the base. Uh oh. Uh, um, am I supposed to be doing this? Just old paint cans. Dried up long ago. They look a bit stretched. Lots of paper boxes with rusty nails. Oh, rusty nails. I am supposed to do this, aren't I? I've got a bad feeling about what could be on the other side. Bunch of rocks. Oh no. Oh no. I don't like what could be under here. Nothing could come in here, right? Wait. Trap root lure must deep, lead deeper into the rock to some kind of basement. Oh, man. I'm taking these rocks with me. I might need them. some sort of whispering. It looks as if this basement caved in years ago. Something's tunneled through here more recently, though. Christ, what sort of creature makes these markings? I don't think I want to find out the presence of these spider webs. Er, spiders and small spiders. I don't know if I can go through this. I think in here, the pitter patter of tiny feet. Christ, was that a spider? I think that thing down below said. Oh no, oh no. No, no, no. Shit, shit, shit. see it all ladder. First things first, I need to bring this ladder and I need to set it up so I can make an escape. Because I pretty much know there's going to be something down here that I need to escape from. I just know it. Ah, shit. Whoa! What? the hell? Okay, just kind of auto-snapped. It's a little weird. How do I get off this thing? I'm taking this rock with me. Any, dis any disagreement? No, I didn't think so. sight. Luckily it's mummified or else the stale smell would have been awful. I think the smell is one of the among the least of your worries. 
their protagonist guy. Dirt, dry, dusty old bags. A flare. Oh, that's a lot of reading. I day one. Actually, wait. I'm going to hide closer to the bags. Hammer, ready to go. Oops. Notes. Findings. Day one, I begin this record still in the hope that the great work we have undertaken here might one day be of scientific value, despite the chaos which has ensued in the six hours previous. My aim is to remain secure until what help there may be arrives. And to that end, I have barricaded myself into a small workshop area in the abandoned part of the mine. I hope that the meager food rations here will keep me alive, and that, I, and that those I hide from will not jeopardize that. Perhaps this mine really is cursed. It's almost precisely 30 years now since the incident that brought us here. And now, 30 years on, fate has struck again. Day three. I forecasted that today the rescue crews would arrive, but I can only hypothesize that they would be unaware of my location and hence busy themselves at evacuating the other survivors. If they will have not arrived by tomorrow, I will go out in search of them. Whoops. Son of a Day six. My first mistake was to make this uh, the uh, to make assumptions on the matter of the rescue. My second mistake was to make assumptions on the safety of this mine. My third mistake was to act on both those assumptions in going outside my safe haven. My best estimate is that I left the workshop where I was secured about two days ago in search of aid, and I have found only danger. I approached the living quarters, but curiously could find no sign of life whatsoever. I returned in what I thought was the direction from which I had come, but soon I found myself in an unfamiliar locale. Confused, but focused, I attempted to make my way home, but found myself threatened by some species of feral creature, which seems to have been to have made this old mine its home. Although the specimen bore significant interest to me, I chose to retreat, only to find myself outmaneuvered and outnumbered by the beasts. I turned and ran, injuring my ankle in the process, which I believe now is most likely a sprain rather than a fracture. For some time I cowered and fled into the dark, but a few hours ago I discovered a door leading to a smaller, disused part of the mine, the key for which I still have in my pocket. Within that area I discovered this storeroom, and I think it should keep me safe for some time. This place is a maze. My lesson learned. I will not venture out again until I am certain the area is safe. Day 19. Rescue seems increasingly unrealistic. Supplies diminishing. Lots of spiders in this place. I do not like spiders. Day 34. I caught one of the accursed eight-legged beasts nestling in my open mouth when I woke up this morning. In my surprise, I swallowed it. It's not so much the act of swallowing which concerns me, but the genus of arachnid. It'd be unlikely that a cave-dwelling spider would be venomous to any significant degree. But the possibility troubles me all the same. Day 35. Any known venom would have affected me by now. And so today is the first minor cause for celebration I have had since the incident. By lucky coincidence, this revelation also means I have discovered a virtually inexhaustible supply of nutrition. I intend to venture into the basement beneath the storeroom in the name of science to discover more about these creatures' natural habitat. For four days now, I have been surviving solely off the quite considerable sustenance provided by the spiders. For some time, I was struggling to gather enough of the crunchy little morsels. However, Lady Luck smiled at me once more when these batteries and my torch died, and I made a second life-saving find. The creature's natural habitat is the dark. With my light now diminished, I need only lie still for a few minutes, and I will have like, attracted enough of the beasts for a rather hearty meal. That is 
fucked up. Let's carry on then. Need to get a closer look. Yeah, it's one of those dogs. Steam could blister flesh from, from bone in an instant. I know. I've seen it happen. So. Just avoid the steam and everything should be fine. But if it weren't for the size of the pieces, I would say that looks like eggshells. Ooh. What the? Three pages. Day 71. My earlier assumptions on the benign nature of my cellmates have been, may have been made in error. After a careful, op careful autopsy, I'm concerned that there may be a small volume of natural chemicals stored in the stomach, which, if ingested regularly over a period of time, may become psychotropic or even lethal. My only chan real chance is to break out of here and raid any stashes of supplies I can find. However, the evidence against such a move is insurmountable. I have no associate of light. I swore to myself I wouldn't leave until I heard human voices outside. The spider's so tasty. Day 100. From the marks I've been mar making on the walls and my scribbled diary entries, which, into the, in the dark, may amount to an illegible scroll, today is the hundredth day of my new life. Over the past month, my edible friends have become more and more aggressive and have swelled in number and size. Whether or not this is a result of my plundering their ecosystem, I am unsure. However, at this rate of growth, they will soon be too large to crawl through the gaps in the walls. For all I know, I could only be seeing the tip of the iceberg. If all fails, and I am never recovered, I hope at least my study of, and indeed, involvement with, these fascinating creatures will one day be regarded as an important point in natural's history. The greatest names in modern science got there more through fluke than talent, and it appears that this rule has extended itself to my discovery of this, this delicious new specimen. I only pray that the second rule deems my breakthrough too insignificant, for all great discoveries tend to consume their inventor. Steam. Too slow. Damn it. So how far back am I? Where's my rock? Where's my rock? Why do I not have my rock? Yep, I need to pick up the notes again.
What's that? Layer. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Fuck this bell music. did it hit me? None of the steam is hitting me. Come on. Okay, seriously, the steam is not hitting me. Finally, this must be all that's left of the basement storage. That lock looks rather worse for wear. It seems to be clear. I guess there's nothing there. It's like there's a minor leak coming from these steam pipes. You think? Fuck. Can I close this? Yes. Fluid lighter gas. Hospital gray. Interesting choice of color. There's nothing here. Hmm. Flashlight batteries. up actually being worse than leaving it on. Okay, fluid lighter gas. Combine it. Should fire up now. The thing is, I now need some fuel. feeling that with the steam off, the spoilers are going to start coming out. And seeing how well the fight with the dog went. I am not looking forward to that. Okay, it's this way, yes. <laughs> oh shit. What the fuck? Don't like this at all. I should have left the goddamn rocks up there. Now my ladder is gone. back up. Like, up, I said. I need them up there more than down here. That's right, I got Maybe I can throw the barrel up there, too. As many throwable weapons as I can. Oh, that's right. It died, went, here it got thrown back to the, uh, Auto save, because I can't save manually, and now I gotta get this damn ladder again.
to know when the next save is. This game could, at the very least, be... I think someone's been dragged through here. I've never seen this much blood before. I, That was my best chance to get some answers. Who else is still down here? Oh, that's what he's talking about. But yeah, as I was saying, the least the game could do is tell me when it saves, so I know when it's safe to uh, drop out to the menu, or like tab out of the game and see or check something. Where there is blood. Shit, that's too far away. Okay. What's this? Ooh. Ten minutes later, the damn 630 bells are still ringing. Irritating little song. Okay, let's get on to the actual thing about Bobber here. Day 200. It has been some time since I recorded any findings with relation to the spiders with whom I have shared my existence for the past eight months, partly due to enforced retreat from the basement territory. <sighs> Gonna need to refill this thing a tea pretty soon. Not too long ago, their behavior became overtly aggressive, and so I have attempted to barricade the main entrance to their lair and secured myself with one of the smaller rooms above it. Or within one of the smaller rooms. It's the only one within operational door lock. The other reason is that I have been recovering from a minor operation, which I was forced to conduct myself without the aid of anesthetic. Even if I did have any anesthetic or surgical tools, I couldn't afford to be less than diligent in my work, so anesthetic was out. Surgical tools are all well and good, but... Although it may be becoming old and rusty, I still trust my penknife to do the job just as well. <laughs> the procedure itself was elementary enough. A simple th amputation of a non-vital organ. I began to notice a thick glue-like substance forming on my tongue. And was forced to accept that it had, been it had become infected through constant toxin ingestion. Another century of days comes and goes. It seems like, like so long since I escaped here. At some stage my since my last entry, I attempted to return from whence I came. That from which I originally was fleeing seems a fate far worse than the one I now face. However, in the time since I arrived from the larger mine system, a cave-in has occurred, blocking any further progress. I was forced to return and accept whatever end life has in store for me. I still hear my aggressive little friend scratching on the door to my cell. Shit. Take that key. Well, at least this one's a little more positive, although I question its motivation. It should be somewhat safe in here. Shut this door for the time being. And I'm going to shut this. Can I not shut the door? There we go. It's probably scripted to not make this actually affect anything, but better safe than sorry. Oh, 
strongest spider I have ever seen with its gut carved open. It's not getting up anytime soon. It, it looks like an internal organ, maybe an animal tongue. No, I just read the note. It's actually the man's... Oh god, you can pick it up? Ugh. Why would they let you do that? Okay, this might be something in here. Close? Close? Nope. Looks like it's been carved into the wood with a knife. Years and years of reports, logs, and files. Just left here to gather, gather dust. It's probably a century of life and death right here at my feet. Same thing. hold with it? Yes. Kind of. Partially. This hole isn't large enough for a man. Not that I'd go anywhere near it, even if it was. What burrowed out this tunnel? I'm taking my rock back. Thank you. <gasps> Damn it. Is there anything in here? Ooh. Beef jerky. See this one. Oh. Okay. Can't take the pencil. That sucks. Right? Yes. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing that orange tint thing means a save. And I'm gonna take a real quick break here to uh, check hard drive space and fix up some tea. So, be back in a minute. And we are back. Only getting 30 frames per second here, but uh, I'm also, um, I also took the opportunity to bump up anti-aliasing to 4x. You know, considering I shut down the game and all. area is clear by the looks of it. Really ought to have this hammer out. Maybe 
combat it really isn't that hard. I just need to adjust to actually using it. Where was that? Can't really remember where that door was. Okay. I can see it in the uh, screen surround. Okay. Over there. Just gotta hope there's nothing here. That's the workshop door. It's locked. Oh. Oh, it opens that way. There's light in here. Hey, I didn't tell you, you could open. Wanker. Much better. Get the weapon out. That'd be a good idea to block the door. Shit. Is there anything? Ah, yes. Okay, come on, come on. Much better. Just to be safe, because I'm paranoid. This is, game makes you paranoid, and this is why. Two barrels! Can't be stopped, won't be stopped. Move! Shit! Fucking dog broke the door down. That rock did nothing. Come on. So I get your ass out of here, bitch. Oh fuck, that wasn't supposed to happen. <sighs> yeah. Hmm, I should block this door. Oh wait. Blocking the door. Does nothing. Just breaks the damn thing down anyways. How did it know I was in here in the first place? this time. Get the hell away from that area. This is a pretty good place to hide. <sighs> Double check the screen. but I don't want to turn on any light source in case the dog sees it.
must be the only exit and it, it has caved in. The shaft's caved in here. Could have happened years ago. I shouldn't be risking my life like this. The whole facility could come down around me. Still, if I want to press on, I'll have to clear this obstruction somehow. There must be something left here I could use. Maybe there's still some industrial explosives lying around. Hey, a note. My favorite workshop. Yay. I love my workshop. It is too great. A hunt. What? Oh, wait a minute. I see what you did there. There's a code. It is too great a hunting ground to let others gorge their faces. One cannot help but feel four. Those with such delicate, mousy morsels on which to munch for red eight ravenously on their flesh today, and shall continue to do so. This is possible thanks solely to the button pad I installed on the door, and yet Red's mind is working somewhat backwards today. Okay. Pretty simple puzzle. So the, co the code to the door should be eight, four, one, two. Sip a tea. This is not the way. Rusting iron wheels reminds me of a past age. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Past age of shit. Fucking asshole dog. Man, can't I have a gun or something? Someone is screaming outside. Holy shit. Fuck, 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 fuck. Do not look, do not look. Must look. Okay, can I make it over here without being seen? And chased and killed in two hits because I can't hit anything with this hammer. TNT could have been used for mining operations, but I don't see a fuse. So what am I supposed to carry? Oh, how am I supposed to carry that thing over there? The old cement mixer has seen better days.
totally useful item. see me. You see nothing. I can't see you. You can't see me. this here. It just kind of slides. Makes a lot of noise. Let's see a fuse. Okay, you need to find a fuse. place and it's definitely newer than the rest of the mine. Uh, where was that note? Okay, torn yet the edge is sharp to the touch hey maybe I could use some of this string to make a fuse looks in decent enough condition brilliant one step closer to setting off all those explosives without losing any body to body parts yay hooray yay shovels these look like they've seen some use in their time. Can't have been much fun working down here. In fact, it must have been pretty god-awful. Not as bad as now, obviously. It's a spare wheel. Flare. Hey, there's something up here. No, it's just a can of paint. These must be tied to what's going on here. If I keep experimenting, I may discover something useful. Or have a heart attack. Come on. What the hell was that? All the things that 
you'll need to be successful as a carpenter. Looks like this hole's at least three feet below the surface. The light's being refracted through all that ice. Be a, could just be a piece of ice reflecting the light, or more likely, my imagination. But something's ca definitely catching my eye under the rocks. What is it? It looks like... A pickaxe. Get the hell out of my way. Yay, pickaxe. Is this a weapon? Yes! <laughs> of course, it's not like it's all that much better than the uh, hammer in terms of combat, because this uh, looks ancient. It's so old, I don't even know what it would have been used for. It looks like a sawhorse, man. What the hell are you talking about? Unless you're talking about this. Yay. What the hell? Oh, just stirred up dust. Oh, pickaxe. Well, this certainly could be far better than the, uh, our hammer against the dog. Look what's here. steel door. God, more spider webs. I hope that hole was there before the spiders, and not the other way around. Whoa, save point. Somehow I get the feeling something very, very bad is going to happen. No, not quite right. Oh, okay. Guy. Footsteps. Can I break through this? Yes. Of course, everything that was in the area now hears me. Urgh, just looking at the goose webs makes my skin crawl. Nope. Darn it. It's a flare. It could be a handy light source. Lantern. Oh, cool. I can turn it off. Can I turn it back on? No. Piece of shit. I better be sneaky around here. Don't know what's here. Right here. Can I burn it? No. An electric fence said, and it's been put up recently. I better find a way to get over.
<laughs> Wait, what the hell? Okay, <clears throat> there we go. I was gonna say, I'm stationary. Why is it not going into super seeing mode? Nothing here. Get this out. I'm going to need it. Is that bottle there before? stream a little too uh, dark. I'll have to change that color. Uh, brightness a little bit. There we go. That's a little closer to what I'm actually seeing on the screen. They go together. I don't know. But a padlock and beef jerky. Nah. Fine. Now the question is, where did you get beef jerky? Gunpowder. Damn it. Okay, this area is fairly clear. However, I don't think I've been over here before. Hmm, people are screaming. I was just there. People are screaming out inside, apparently. Oh. Shit. Is that the dog I just saw? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That reminds me, there was supposed to be some sort of haunted tour tonight, but eh. I ended up not being able to go. Both the nice that the person that or that somebody was supposed to be there to sell the tickets, no one was there. So kind of sucks. Missing about missing out on being able to. Explore some areas around the campus that you normally don't get to go to. But that's assuming that the thing wasn't outright canceled, which may be a possibility considering all of the uh, flyers for it have been taken down and were actually taken down long before now. So instead, I get to have the shit scared out of me in Penumbra and be hiding from a dog because the combat system is so clunky that wasn't supposed to happen fuck 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 it saw me it saw me it saw me run the fuck away Character was looking right at the dog. And you're not supposed to do that. So, the barrel over here. 
your cement mixer. Dog. So I'm guessing there's actually nothing else here. Gotta find some other area. If it's possible to kill this dog, that would make things a hell of a lot easier. Of course, I mean, it's not like I really made any actual progress since the last save point. Ancient bags of crumbling cement. Toolbox. It'd be kind of cool if that actually hit it. But no, I don't think I'm that fortunate. invulnerable? That's right, run away. Does it not die? Is that what a big portion of the horror comes from? The thing's not dying? or did that one just follow me out here? kill the monster. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've already been here. Yeah, this is that spider place. Just gonna use this. No, not quite right. Okay. Okay. Don't tell me anything. I did find fuel in here. So, maybe 
maybe it's not entirely logical to think that, wait, can I pick up the pencil now? Uh, just like this. Maybe I need to go back to the office. Saving game. Carry my barrel. There are many like it, but this one is mine. I can barely see, but that's fine. It's part of the game. Office. This way. Dog. Also this way. Run away while it's distracted. Workshop, not where I need to be. Well, technically it is where I need to be. I need to be at the office first. being outside already. This place is starting to give to me. But even if I could reach that grate, it looks built into the rock itself. No way it's coming loose. You can always break it. You got a pickaxe. Flare. How did I miss that? Riding wooded shelves. Must be the added moisture from that grate. This whole room is putrefying. Just for selling valuables. Fortunately, just a book on explosives and not the stuff that you need for itself. Nothing. The text on these pages is illegible. Years of damp and cold have dissolved its meaning forever. So has low resolution texture work. Save the game. Right. So I guess if it's I guess the uh, gunpowder would either be out here or in the fuck it saw me it saw me I don't like that have a bottle bitch Resending its spawn.
this when there's something out in the halls. Don't know why. Well, the dog is not here. That rock will stop it, surely. It's with a spinning board. Maybe not. Maybe not. It clearly isn't here. I wonder why I can't just pick up this lamp. saying that there's still fuel in it, so it only makes sense that you'd be able to pick it up and, uh, like, pour the fuel on the rope. Explosion. Office. Explosives. Northern area. Workshop. Storage. Your location here. But supposedly there are explosives down that way. Sure there's nothing in here? I guess. way by the looks of it. Yeah, I'm exactly where I picked up that container of TNT. without the barrel in the area. That's as far as you can move it. That sucks.
Okay, so clearly there's nothing here.
back there. Shit, what the hell? Didn't realize this place was open. Not like there's anything here. Of course not. goddamn place so much, so much. Yeah, this is not a damn thing useful around here. I'm pretty sure there was nothing down there. storage. Check storage, nothing there. We'll check workshop, nothing there. Check office, nothing there.
Jesus, fuck. How the hell did that get over here so fast? going to work. I don't know. Light the thing, hold it up to the web. Pretty damn simple concept if you ask me. Blood, you got shocked. What the hell? <laughs> okay. You don't have to be a barrel. works better. Yes, except for getting hit on the end. So I can't heal myself with beef jerky. What's the point of it then? This loose battery is powering the vents. Can't be all that long ago this was all set up.
I guess health actually doesn't regenerate like they like it does in amnesia. Explosives. Ah, this is more like it. Fuck. Screw you, locks. Ah! Beat your little system. Oh, nothing too practical here. Well, I prefer first aid, but blah blah blah. Just shit. Just take it. Homemade jerry bombs. Very small explosives. Probably soaked through by now. Perfect thick. Gunpowder cake, though. Finally. God damn. Ho the hole is too small to thread the string through. Are you kidding me? What is this string as thick as the damn. Uh, Ooh, dynamite. Is the string as thick as a damn pickaxe or something? Come on. I need to find some sort of contrived tool to open the thing. Someone apparently has trouble opening doors. Idiot. Why would I want to shut that off? This is in a serious state. Did that really come off through disrepair, or was it ripped off? it is. Okay, that's a weapon, apparently. What the hell? <laughs> oh, shit, I don't want to use that. So this is just too contrived. I mean, why can't I just stick the string in there? Surely it's long enough. I mean, you pick the string long enough to use as a food, yeah, fuse for dynamite. It's gonna be long enough to fall into a barrel. Let's see if there's anything over here.
gonna use any of this? Of course not. save recently. And somehow that does not set up the TNT. Favorites. The hell do they mean by that?
So, did that actually kill it? Looks like it. Certainly fucking hope so. pickaxe would have done the job. I guess for whatever reason you need to drop beef jerky and throw dynamite at the dog to kill it. What the fuck? Is that another one? Yes it is. Fuck. Run away. Can I outrun it? Or am I utterly fucked? I'm utterly fucked. Ah, fucking hell! So there really is two dogs. I've only got one stick of dynamite. Fucking wonderful. did something. Fucking hell, this game is so finicky sometimes. spark and this thing should go up in the treat. Just hope it doesn't take me with it. Take cover. Hide behind the wall. Now watch the dog decide to come over. I can't see it. Yes, I can. And it saw me. So I'm going to fucking run. And apparently get out of here. <sighs> Not fucking time. When I look back, I can't think what spurred me to go deeper into the mine. Perhaps it was arrogance at still being alive. 
or something as ridiculous as facing adversity and coming out on top. Or maybe it was the fucking dogs that only die when you throw a stick of dynamite at them while they're eating beef jerky. Just saying. Now, I would have been better off starving or being mauled to death than kickstarting the chain of events that led me to end up here, writing to you. I just hope, once you understand my story, you will have what's necessary to put an end to this tale. I certainly didn't. No, you didn't. Don't see a thing. Whoa. This is where the dogs came in. Hmm. Can't say anything about it. sound, or the shaking. The noises down here are so alien compared to the way sound travels on the surface. The rock fall almost sounded organic, like rock screaming. That's not possible. Power. Hey, close. Okay. There'd have to be some kind of vacuum system for the energy or electricity. I think this might be part of it. Hmm. It's a propane gas canister. Highly pressurized. they had before this was put up. I shudder to think. Hmm. How many accidents they had before what was put up? The barriers or the big fucking hole in the ground? It's a battery symbol on the side, but it's welded sh tight shut. If they had some kind of machine for opening these, these things, it's not here anymore. Hmm. And the look of that ping thing, I guess this is the control panel for the generator. I don't really want to mess with that right now. These look like industrial fuses. Fully charged batteries. Hmm. Only two pages? Alright, finally some reading. Steelbird Generator Type 7G. Congratulations on your purchase from the Type 7 product line. We are certain that you will be pleased with your new petrol-driven electrical backup system. Below are, the, are highlighted just a few of the added and improved features of the 7G model. Avoid personal wear and tear. The wind-up startup motor has been replaced with a battery-driven unit. Wonderful. Grease in the industrial workplace can be an accident-inducing insurance nightmare, so enjoy the newly increased or the new increased grease control system. Electrical installation can be expensive to install and maintain, so the, the economical 7G basic model arrives without. Nice. And much, much more. Quick start guide. Ensure the area surrounding the 7G is clear of equipment and personnel in case of overheating. Connect and confirm secondary flow by turning appropriate valve. Turn on cooling system to avoid overheating. Release excess steam until pressure is within safe limits. Begin grease flow, ensuring leakage is minimal. Turn main valve and confirm primary flow. Pull main operation level, bleh, lever. Check enemy output, energy output. Your unit should be fully functional. Okay. Save. Hmm, feels as if I'm leaving my body for just a moment. 
but not just hovering around. It's like I go to some place. What are these things? Get the microphone there. That's not good. Yeah, I'd assume this area would be safe. Lever. A less disciplined man than myself might be tempted to pull it just to find out what it does. Ensure the area surrounding the 7G is clear of equipment. Mm -hmm. This thing's huge. Speed 3.5 megawatts, but it's pretty old. Certainly enough to light a few bulbs, though. Yeah. Crappy Duke Nukem impression. From forever. The dualies. No, no, no. Notes. Oh, come on. Connect and confirm secondary flow by turning appropriate valve. Secondary flow. It's cold and rusted. Rust might be the only thing that survived down here all this time. The symbol's worn out, but I should be able to work out what all this does. A symbol for water? Hmm, could be hydraulics. At any rate, it's some sort of fluid control. I'm definitely at a loss on this one. One? Yeah, it's probably a two. Turn on cooling system to avoid overheating. Hmm. Symbol for water. Doesn't sound like it's doing anything. Damn it. Damn it. Press the right things. Release excess steam until pressure is within safe limits. Okay, they start on the right. Your left. Just making sure. Damn it. Begin grease flow, ensuring leakage is minimal. Okay. It's awful. <laughs> Come on. Turn main valve. Then pull the lever. There. Blind experimentation never does anything. But jot down a note just in case. The main generator won't run without its starter motor being powered. Okay, so I need to power the starter motor. Isn't that what I just did? Some kind of protective screen, maybe. I wonder what it protected them from. Death, obviously. So, am I pre to assume the secondary generator is down here? No, but that, that would be ridiculous. Whoa! Fucking pile of goddamn garbage.
Also, this hole aren't as uniform as the rest of the shafts. But why dig it out by hand? Uh, accidents again. Get the fuck out. Piece of shit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Spare battery. I mean, the button I pressed anyway. At this generator's age, I want to wonder if it sparks at all. It's probably just been a power search. I should check the fuse box. Jot it down a note just in case. Hmm. Yep, there's a blunt fuse. There's nothing down here work. the blonde fuse back it isn't going to solve my problems. I know what will. Piece of shit. Oh yeah, I guess you do kind of regenerate. Hmm, it fuses if I blah blah blah. Already read that one. seeing uh, fuses around here. I guess not.
Beef jerky, yay. Be careful. Hmm. <clears throat> emergency procedures. In the event of an emergency, all mine workers are asked to follow the standard emergency procedure detailed and leaflet provided. Rescue services will already be on their way, and so under no circumstances should employees attempt to aid colleagues themselves or contact the emergency services. Oh, that sounds dodgy. <clears throat> the code sheet is provided for use in the extremely unlikely event that you are trapped in the mine with no way in which to signal or otherwise contact emergency crews. In this scenario, you should ensure the stability of surrounding environment by gently tapping and feeling the rock. Once you feel certain that there is no risk of a rock slide, check to see if you have any form of communications device at hand and attempt to send a distress signal using this code sheet. Should a device be, be unavailable or damaged, begin firmly tapping out a message on the wall of the cave. Rescue, rescue crews will hear you and arrive promptly to dig you out. I don't think so. Much of Morse code. Seems entirely implausible. It says fuse, 50 amp fuses, but the box is empty. Contents can't be too far away. Get out of here. Hey, batteries. Really, this is an actual weapon. Okay. Doesn't serve much purpose these days. I guess not. This stick could power a city block. It's cold, so there's likely no current. by now so I'm gonna call it quits here that's been long enough for the live stream and the recording might get back to this game at some point might not <laughs>